are you? I'm Paul. Uh, welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. This little world right here is Rio Driving School and if you're preparing for a driving test or beginning your driving lessons for the first time or perhaps you're even uh, training to become a driving instructor then yes uh, this is the channel for you. You're going to find a lot of useful information here. Today we are in Litchfield with my friend Pav and yeah. we're going to do a driving assessment. So Pav, um, we've been training together for a little while now and your driving test is booked in Litchfield in the near future. We won't say exactly when, um, but I want you just to imagine in your mind just for a moment, let's imagine it was today your driving test and let's imagine um it doesn't go your way let's let's pretend for a second that something went wrong on your driving test and you were not successful where would you point the finger where would it go wrong on the top of your head mm. what you probably say? parallel parking oh okay parallel parking yeah that's a common one people worry mm. about that a lot mm. so we can incorporate that into our mm -hmm. little assessment today what about driving wise um probably joining the um, big islands big islands okay and and, and, and the uh, dual carriageway okay is there any particular part about the dual carriageways or joining the those those larger roundabouts that concerns you is it it's uh, it's the moment when you have to make a quick decision. Sometimes you run out of space and you have to react quickly, and that's the moment where I get stressed a little bit. Okay, cool. Well, we'll, <laughs> we'll have a look at that as well then, uh, and see what happens today. Then I'm going to make up a route today that's mm -hmm. going to incorporate uh, those elements, uh, and I'm going to be honest with you, I'm going to do everything. I can to expose those weaknesses mm -hmm. everything fair and unfair today so that hopefully when you do your real assessment you're just gonna have an easy job and you can just okay. relax all right okay. so yeah when you're ready turn on your engine um, we will look at the time now we're gonna this is gonna be approximately 38 to 40 minutes long okay, okay and we will be doing a parallel park at some point Okay. okay, so drive away when you're ready.
Okay, a uh, couple of little things that I want to point out. What are they going to be? What are you smiling for? Uh, I had, I'll change the lane to Rutri on the very last moment. Okay, was it a problem? Did it affect it wasn't, anybody? It wasn't a problem. I looked in the uh, rear and the right mirror, there was no one coming. Signal okay, around. what would you have done if somebody was coming? I, I'd carry on straight. Okay, fine, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. um, why do you suppose you didn't realise till later? Uh, well, I did see the sign pointing Rudrick towards left, and I assumed that it will be the left lane to go there, but then I realised that the road the, sign the, the, ro the road sign, um, it did say r right for Rudrick, didn't it? So you could have positioned really early. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure why he thought it was there. It was like a second exit, but on that sign it looked to me like, as as it will be early, not just around the court, like sort of your, Well, let me tell you this, your position on the roundabout was perfect. Mm -hmm. Everything you did on that roundabout was perfect. I might have added a right signal on the approach, which you you may have forgotten about you put a right signal to change to change the lane because well, to, I appeared on the um, yeah the internal lane yeah. now that wouldn't wouldn't have really been necessary if you'd have just checked your mirrors early and positioned nice and early because mm -hmm. we don't really use signals to position ourselves on the approach to a roundabout unless of course it might be dual carriageway or something um, but yeah but your signal came off I would have reapplied a signal there let all the road users know we're intending to go right. All other aspects of that roundabout were fine. Uh, it wasn't really a problem. Let me tell you what might have been a problem. You know when I asked you to pull over just now? Mm -hmm. What was going on behind us? Nothing. Okay. You know as you pulled in, did you notice the car go past us? I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, there was, a, there was a car went past us. Now, an examiner might mark that. I haven't uh, indicated. Well, well you think it was signals, but it's actually mirrors. Mm. Because you checked your mirrors, you're pulling over, um, there was a car turning in behind us, and you've got to let him know that you're pulling over. Mm. Yeah. So, would it, would it be a serious problem, do you think, that you're pulling mm. over without telling him that you're pulling over? Well, if he doesn't know, I'm actually going to stop. He, can, he assumes that I'm going to carry on driving, maybe. So that would be a problem for him if I yeah. break. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Here's something you can think about. I know we've talked before about use of signals, and you don't have to always use a signal mm -hmm. to pull over. And this time we had someone behind, yeah. and we should actually do it. Yeah. It might be easier 
it might be easier if you always use a signal because you're not going to be losing points on a driving test for signaling to the invisible mm. man mm. you might think about that particularly i i know today you're tired um, mm -hmm. you're not you're not <laughs> you're not going to be as sharp you're definitely not going to be as sharp as i'm used to seeing um but that makes things more interesting be yeah. because the reality is you work really hard that's your yes. job you're going to be coming home you're going to be tired if you're in the routine of putting that signal on whether or not it's needing to be on it might just prevent something serious from happening yeah yeah Great. anyway what i'd like you to do is reverse the car back a little bit because we're quite close mm -hmm. to this vehicle mm -hmm. then i want you to do your parallel park okay very much how do you feel that went not too bad actually okay mm. i liked it I thought in terms of positioning positioning um, final final checks and yeah well i do um this is what happened you, you looked around quite well you bought the car back at the time at the point of turn when you got to get ran front corner of that car the car started to swing out a little bit and we didn't go out very far mm -hmm. but it was only after it started the front of the car started to come out a little mm -hmm. bit did you start i better check over into that blind spot wait i did look that way check the mirror check that mirror and i think you could see i was checking that side you did that. yeah you did but the car came out a little bit first yeah and this is the moment when you have to check do it before do it do before you yeah. steer and, and and the reason why what have we got over there on that side we've got the uh we've got the grass haven't we mm -hmm. people might be walking along there with a the dark or something and then mm -hmm. they're up and then they're crossing the road behind us and you're not necessarily going to see that with them just a, a door mirror check so blind spot there is mm -hmm. really really essential literally it's, everywhere yeah well it's all situational mm -hmm. isn't it we're, we're, we're not on a a quiet road we've got the junction there behind us things quickly change as you found out yes, before when yeah. you pulled over um, but yeah we've got the grassy area there and I do see joggers going along there mm -hmm. people with dogs um, so yeah as soon as it's time to start steering you got to remember that the front of the car will go out yeah. before we let it go out we, we must be checking sure out our it's completely it's kind of like if you're carrying step ladders under your arm and your mate calls out to you are you going to yeah. turn around or are you going to check first before you swing it <laughs> yeah so <laughs> yeah so yeah when you're ready drive away okay
Can you show me how to clear the back window using the washing wipers? You mean when we stop? No, you can do it now while we're on the move. Technically, it's done while we're on the move anyway. Right. I'm okay. just going to kill some time, but we can do it on the move as well.
allow you to turn left at roundabout ways. I just realised that's the yeah. same moment when I realised that I haven't. Uh, well, it was awkward, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, why why did you make coming, it feel awkward? Uh, Tell me about that. Yeah. Uh, I focus on the car and the public forgot the final shift. Can you just pull check. up on the left again? Yeah, I'm just pulling up on Let's just dig into that one, just a little bit. So, yeah, it was awkward. Why was it awkward? Well, I had a car behind me yeah. and I had a car coming in, in front of me yeah. and uh, once the car passed, that driver behind me sort of stood there so I didn't know whether he stopped too so I indicated right to let him know that I'm actually gonna move okay. on but then he moved on <laughs> so I cancelled my indicator and then obviously when I moved I forgot to check the blind spot because I focused on him Yeah, it, uh, it, it's it sometimes comes up where you're, you're, you're asked to pull over there's going to be potentially a number of cars behind you and they all want to get past yeah. but if they can't get past because of oncoming traffic then that's the moment I, that's the moment I you can, can get it going but you must have done all your checks and final put your signal on to tell them hey i'm going to go you're moving yourself you are mm -hmm. removing the problem for everybody there yeah. Uh, which is great um, but if that last car coming towards us has gone they can start moving again yeah. and that's the time we must not have a signal on because you you are now causing um, cause, causing yeah. the confusion you so basically if there is no one behind us and there is only oncoming traffic for example uh, I can just 
will move up yes. without signalling. If there's up. oncoming traffic, nothing behind us, if let's say that car there is yeah. coming towards I would use a signal still to say I'm moving, because you don't know right. that the car okay. wants what? to go onto a yeah, driveway or do, something. Yeah. True, true. Okay. We need to let other road users know what we're doing. Yeah. But the thing is, <clears throat> we're not going to use a, a right signal if there's loads of traffic behind us and that can all move around us. Mm. Because it only takes one of those vehicles to stop and now you're inconveniencing other road users, you're making them make a decision they shouldn't have yeah. to make. Whereas this van now, yeah. or car, can't get round us because of these three. Yeah. That's when you can be going, right, oh. check all around, signal on, and go. Yeah, okay. All right, so yeah, when you're ready, let's get it going. going on there wasn't that? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. I told you I was going to be a bit cruel but this is the real world. Yeah well I prefer reality. <laughs>
seems to be every every road
because it's such a dangerous junction, pal. Before you move, I want you to tell me when you're going to go, okay? Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna go now after this white van. I wouldn't. Uh, okay. You see the other white one potentially doing seventy towards us. You would probably have to slow down. It takes time to get out of the way. You don't worry. He might be a little while. Mm. You can't force somebody to change lanes or something. Just take your time. See how we flashed you then? You yes, but there to... is yeah. still. Yeah, yeah. You see that? Mm. Relax, mm. Don't, don't listen mm. to the one behind. Don't let them bully you at all. Mm. Exceptionally busy today. Very busy. Mm -hmm. chance after that red lorry. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Get those feet ready. Yeah. That's it. We've got no choice to um, wipe, wipe that out. We've got to make sure it's safe.
find any any convenient car park space to drive forward into it. job. Relax, turn your engine off just for a minute. What have you learned? Mm, it's a bit more stressful. Okay. Uh, In as if we did the real test. Yeah. Uh, I am much more relaxed when we're just practicing. When we're just talking and... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Possibly camera makes me a little bit more <laughs> stressed as well. Yeah. Uh, but apart from that, there is, there is a good thing as well, that uh, I think I was a little bit more focused. I was trying to do all the checks as, as I could remember. <laughs> I think it puts kind of a pressure for me to, to, do, to do so. So that was a good thing, that I was trying to pretend myself that I'm actually taking the test. Sure. Well, we can do we can do this in a strict manner from now on if you want to. Um, I think that would be a good practice to 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 get yeah all our lessons done as a as a real as a real driving. Talk test. to me about that slip road, um, the dual carriageway. Just that's the busy one. Yes. Yeah. I got panicked a little bit because I knew that car behind me is probably losing its patience but um, from another hand I uh, I knew from what you told me before that it have to be safe because it is very busy junction so uh, it's not easy I'd say to join the uh, traffic on that particular junction. Yeah I noticed when they use the horn behind I could see you preparing yeah, I, to go. I, I little, a little bit you know I was... It's a, a normal bit, response. Yeah, Nobody it's, it's a natural, it's a something out of control for me. I mean I just realized that you know the pressure from behind uh, caused me doing something and then I realized it's, it's bad yeah. that it, someone actually forcing you to do something you don't want to do. In a similar way, that happens all the time on a parallel park. Yeah. You might have cars waiting, you'll be rushing, and then you think, oh, I forget to check that. Yes. So, um, you know, so we must remember to check the blind spots. Yes. We can't just rush it through. Because, you, know, you know, if you're in a supermarket and, you know, you've got a trolley, shopping trolley full of food, and you're putting that onto the. Uh, you, well, you're putting that. To be scanned there's a lady going to scan your food for you are you concerned that there's somebody behind you with their trolley full of food no. you're holding them up right <laughs> <laughs> so if you're not concerned about that yeah, then what yeah. are you concerned about making this one here behind you yeah. just think they've got a trolley load of food and it's your turn mm. right now. well it's a good practice because it's kind of uh, being in a control under the pressure yeah so my reaction my response was just i think perfect bad example to what might happen you know if, if someone just trying to rush you around and i think that's when where, it was where, where, where means mistakes happen she gave you yeah. a bit of a push didn't she yeah and uh you were oh yeah, yeah i better go then no no yeah. no 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 yeah True. okay cool uh i like it though you know your your checks are really really good you're you're looking ahead you're planning well you're not sharply breaking a couple of little bits and pieces here and there you know remembering to put a right signal on at that large roundabout yeah. positioning early I think you misinterpreted the sign on the approach which is why you stayed left for longer you just need to be because uh, Ruji was clearly yes. off to the right yes, and it maybe was, got a yeah. little bit mixed up yes. there apart from that though that was perfect mm. pulling over before you get it going again yeah, blind spot signal and um, well yeah when, when there, there are cars behind yeah. me or in front of me so uh, all the pedestrians whatever yeah 
Yeah, use signals to get it going again. Yeah. If there are other eyes on you anywhere. Yeah, just let people um, know what you intend to do. Yeah. But yeah, if there's, if there's, you know, if if there's cars waiting to get round you, and they can't get round you because of oncoming vehicles, mm -hmm. then it's a time to time to get it going. Time to get it going. Yeah. But remember your checks. Yeah. And that's it. All yeah. good. I really enjoyed it though. Um, guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And uh, I'll be back for another video very shortly. Bye for now.